Instagram hub. I hope you are all doing great. I started solids for my baby when he was 5 months old, of course, after consulting his pediatrician. Usually the right age for starting semi solids is 6 months old, but of course doctors would know the entire history, so our doctor he knew it very well. So he asked us to gradually start semi solids uh, when he was 5 months old. We actually started uh, solids or semi solids whatever with just dal water once in a day and then slowly introducing fruit purees. Now my baby is 7 months old and he has lot of tantrums for eating. He is not at all a good eater. So now I really understand the pain and struggle of all the moms. So this video is anyhow not about solids recipes but it's definitely related to solids. So in this video I am going to share with you guys two things. First one, kitchen accessories. Some of the unique and very interesting kitchen accessories that I came across which just not helps you in generally in the kitchen but also in the solids preparation. And the second one is a DIY hair oil which is just made with 3 ingredients and you can make it just in 3 minutes. So after delivery we usually face lot of hormonal changes and because of that we definitely face hair loss. So post delivery many women face extreme hair loss because of lot of hormonal changes and so did I. So I thought why not give it a try. So without wasting any more time let's jump in the video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do it. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. So let's get started. So the first thing that I want to share, maybe you, or most of you have in your kitchen already but I did not have, so is this tong. Uh, now we usually have a tong in our kitchen but I had a complete steel one which we usually use for uh, you know flipping the chapati and all. Uh, so this is different because uh, it has a silicon tip. So this end that you see here is made of silicon and you have this grip thing here you know if you can see this this part and this part is the grip and you have a lock at the end so if you see this so you know you can you can lock this now it's locked if i pull if i push this in this opens up and when you are done with your work you can just fold this and pull it out so this gets locked I don't know, I somehow li really like this, I did not have this earlier, uh, I bought it from Amazon. This will generally help you in the kitchen but other than that if you have started solids for your babies, if you have started fruits or vegetable purees, you usually boil uh, vegetables or purees or steam them. So when they are uh, you know hot, very hot, it's very difficult to take them out. Uh, so this comes in very handy and very useful for that. Say for example when I am making an apple puree, so once it is done it's very hot so I can easily pick it up with this and the best thing is since this is not steel and it's silicon it doesn't mess up or it doesn't break the apple piece it will remain as is and you can easily peel out the uh, skin and take out the pulp. So yeah, this is my first favorite kitchen accessory that I wanted to share with you guys. So the second thing that I want to share is this steamer. So again, if you have started solids for your babies, uh, then it's always better to steam the veggies and fruits and not completely boil them because they say when you boil the veggies or fruits, all the nutrients are lost. Uh, so it's always important to steam them and then feed and not boil. So this comes in very handy, uh, so it comes in like this with a handle here, with a plastic handle here, so it's very easy to you know hold it and you can open it up like this, keep all the veggies or fruits here and then close it and it even has these legs here. So you can easily keep this in a uh, cooker or a idli maker or any vessel. You can just keep this and just close the lid. Add little water in the bottom and uh, steam it. That's it. You are good to go. So yeah, this comes in very handy in your solids journey. So the next thing that I want to talk about is this apple cutter. My sister-in-law introduced this to me and I really liked it. 
So what I personally felt is this is not very useful in making an apple puree but generally if you are uh, using it just to cut an apple for adults then it's good and it's useful and it's very quick but uh, while making an apple puree what I prefer is just to make uh, just four pieces out of an apple and then steam it. Uh, this actually makes lot of pieces as you can see here it actually makes six to seven pieces. So yeah this is generally useful if you are just cutting an apple uh, to have it and not for an apple puree. So the next thing that I wanted to share is this oil applicator. I wanted something like this from a really long time but I didn't know what to search and uh, I did not find anything like this. So while watching one of the YouTube videos I came across this and I immediately ordered this. So what happens is when you're making something like a sandwich or an omelette on the tawa, uh, I usually prefer just greasing it with the oil and not completely applying or pouring the oil on it. So I had this normal uh, greaser or applic oil applicator. So what happens is when you're using this, you should already have a bowl of oil and then dip this in this and then use it. So only to use this you need to have a bowl of oil which I really did not like or did not prefer. Uh, so I wanted something like this wherein you can already have oil inside this. This also comes in with a cap. So you know I am always afraid of uh, cockroaches or insects uh, that might roam around at night and contaminate these things. Uh, so this is very useful and it's very easy and quick to use. You already have oil in it and you just slightly press this and you can easily grease it. So yeah this is it and whatever uh, I'm showing these are not at all expensive. These are very affordable. Now I'm not sure if other ladies can relate this to me and you to feel the same what I feel. But I always want a kitchen towel handy in my kitchen. So what happened is when we uh, designed when the interior of my kitchen was done. So we had uh, the bigger tiles all over the kitchen wall. We did not add any accessories on the kitchen wall. And I forgot to have a kitchen towel hanger installed when the interior was getting done. So I found this little handy thing. Let me show you how this is used. This kitchen towel hanger I bought from Amazon comes in very handy where you don't want to drill or stick on any walls. It comes with these clamps which you can just place it on any cabinet doors and that's it you're good to go. You can hang your kitchen towels there. So yeah these were all the kitchen accessories and the next thing is the DIY hair oil that I was talking about. So this needs three ingredients, just three ingredients. One is a curry leaves, second one is methi seeds and the third one is a hair oil, any hair oil of your choice. I used a parachute normal hair oil here. Since most of us are working and very busy in our life, it's very difficult to you know take care of our hair like those earlier days where our uh, elders, our grannies and moms used to take care of their hair applying shikakai and lot of things. But at least this one we can try it out. It's very easy and quick to use. You only have to add all the curry leaves, pluck out all the leaves and uh, take out all the stems. Take all the curry leaves and add it into the pan. Add the methi seeds and your uh, desired or favorite hair oil, whatever you are using at home, uh, that's it. Add these three ingredients in a pan and just heat it for a few minutes on a low flame. That's it. You are good to go. And then filter out and store the oil in a bottle. Very simple to use, right? So this is what I got after filtering it out. So <laughs> please don't uh, judge me for this bottle. It's a polar bear ice cream uh, cup or a bottle. So I don't prefer using all the fancy expensive stuff just for these uh, small things, little things in the kitchen. So yeah, that's it for today guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. So I'll meet you guys again very soon with another interesting video. Bye till then.